Hey guys, today we're going to answer the question, what is a composite figure and how can I find the area of composite figures? So composite figures are irregular 2D figures made up of basic shapes. So to find the area of these irregular figures, we're going to follow these steps. First, we want to identify the basic shapes that make up the composite figure. We're going to write out the formulas for each of these shapes, substitute what we know into the formulas to find the area of each shape, and then we will add these areas of the basic shapes together to find the total area of the composite figure. So let's look at this one right here. It says find the area of the composite figure. So there's two ways to look at this, but either way I'm looking at it, I see two rectangles. So if I split it right here, there's a rectangle that is nine, by this length would be 15 minus 11. Or you could split it right here, and this rectangle is 11 by whatever 17 minus nine is. I'm gonna go ahead and split it up this way. So I have this blue rectangle here, and then I'm gonna have this pink rectangle here. And the pink one, as you can see, is going to be nine by 15. So let's go ahead and find the area of that shape. That is a rectangle that I will do base times height to find the area of. So the area will be nine times 15 and nine times 15 is 135. So the area of this pink area is 135 centimeters squared. Now I need to find the area of this blue shaded region. So I know that this side is 11 right here, and this side is going to be 17 minus nine. And that will leave me with this length right here. So 17 minus nine is what that length in the blue rectangle will be, and 17 minus nine is eight. So the blue rectangle I will use base times height to find the area of it. So it'll be eight times 11, which is 88. So the area of the blue rectangle is 88 centimeters squared. So now to find the area of the composite figure, I'm going to add 135 plus 88. So the area of the composite figure of those two rectangles is 223 centimeters squared. Okay, let's look at this second figure right here. It says find the area of the composite figure. So the two basic shapes I see in here are a semicircle, which I'm going to shade pink. So I'll find the area of this shape right here by doing pi r squared and then dividing by two. And then I also see a rectangle. So I will find the area of this rectangle just by multiplying the base times the height. Finding the area of the rectangle is a little bit easier, so I'm gonna do that first. I'm gonna find the area of this blue region first. So this rectangle has the formula base times height so to find the area of it, I will just do six times 10, which is 60. So the area of this blue region is 60 feet squared. Now I need to find the area of this semicircle by finding the area of a whole circle and dividing it by two. And remember to find area of a circle, we're gonna do pi r squared. And I know that from here to here, is six feet, which is the diameter. So if the diameter is six, the radius is half of that, so the radius is three. So to find the area of the whole circle, which I need to do first, I'll do 3.14 times three times three. 3.14 times three times three is the same thing as 3.14 times nine. So now I just need to do 3.14 times nine. The area of the full circle is 
0.26. So to find half of that for the semicircle, I'm going to divide 28.26 by 2. I get 14.13. So the area of this semicircle is 14.13. So I'm almost done. Now I just need to find the total area of this figure by doing 14.13, this would be feet squared, plus 60 feet squared. So 14.13 plus 60 is 74.13 feet squared. So we found the area of that composite figure by finding the area of the rectangle and adding it to the area of the semicircle. Okay, let's look at number three. It says find the area of the composite figure. So I see a rectangle, which I'm going to shade in blue. There's my first basic shape. And I also see a triangle, which I'm going to shade in pink. So I'll find the area of the square and the area of the triangle, and I will add those together. So let's start with the area of the square or the rectangle. The length and the width or the base and the height would be 8 and 16. It would not be 20 because 20 is this whole length which is longer than that rectangle. So to find the area of the rectangle I'm going to do base times height which would be 8 times 16. So I need to do 8 times 16 to figure out the area of this rectangle. 128. So the area of the rectangle is 128 centimeters squared. So I have the area of the first basic shape. Now I need to find the area of the triangle. So this length right here would be the base. Remember this whole length is 20 and this length is 16. So this length right here is whatever 20 minus 16 is. So that length is four. So I have the base of the triangle, it's four. And then I need this whole length right here, which they gave me, it is 12. I know that that whole length is 12 because this part was just eight. So they're telling me that this whole part is 12. So to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna take my base and my height, multiply them together and then divide by two. So the area of the triangle will be four times 12 divided by two, which is 48. 8 divided by 2, so the area of the triangle is 24 centimeters squared. So now I just am going to find the area of this whole figure by doing 128 plus 24. 152 centimeters squared for that whole composite figure. Okay, number four says find the area of the composite figure. So if I draw a line right here, then I can see that it's dividing the shape into a trapezoid and a rectangle, which I know how to find the area of both of those. Let's start with the rectangle. Be right here. So the area of this rectangle will be found by doing 12 times 13 since 12 is the base and 13 is the height of the rectangle. So let's find the area of the rectangle by doing that area is base times height. We're gonna do 12 times 13. Area of the rectangle is 156 inches squared. Now I need to find the area of this trapezoid. Remember trapezoids have two bases and I find the area of the trapezoid or a trapezoid by doing 
base one plus base two times the height and then dividing it all by two. So let's identify these things. This four would be the height of the trapezoid since that is perpendicular with this base, which is going to be 12 and this base, which is eight. So this will be base one and base two is 12 inches. So now I have everything to find the area of the trapezoid. I'm gonna add the bases together. So eight plus 12 times my height of four, all divided by two. So the area of the trapezoid will be 20 times four divided by two, which is 80 divided by two. So the area of the trapezoid is 40 inches squared. And now I find the area of this whole figure by doing 40 plus 156. And 40 plus 156 is 196. So the area of this composite figure is 196 inches squared. Okay, let's look at number five. It says find the area of the composite figure. So if I divide this into two shapes I know, I see a semicircle. So I'll find the area of the circle and then divide it by two. And I see a triangle. So I'll find the area of the semicircle and the area of the triangle and then add them together. Let's start with the area of the triangle. So the base of this triangle would be right here, which is 10. And that's perpendicular with this distance, which is the height of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do base times height divided by two. So it'll be 10 times 25 divided by two, which is 250 and 250 divided by two is 125. So the area of that blue triangle is 125 meters squared. Now I need to find the area of this semicircle. So I'm gonna take the area of the circle and divide it by two. Remember we find the area of a circle by doing pi r squared. They gave me the diameter the whole way across is 10. So that means that the radius is 10 divided by two, which is five. So now I can find the area by doing 3.14 times five times five. I'm going to multiply five times five and I get 25. So the area is 3.14 times 25. Of the full circle is 78.5. But remember, I need to find the area of a semicircle with a radius of five since it's just half of the circle. So I'm going to take that area and I'm going to divide it by two. So now I need to do 78.5 divided by two. of the semicircle is 39.25. 39.25 for the area of the semicircle meters squared. So now I have both areas, so I just need to add them together to find the area of the whole figure. So I need to do 39.25 plus 125. 64.25 meters squared for the total area of this composite figure. Okay, let's look at number six. It says find the area of the composite figure. I see a triangle sitting on top of a trapezoid. So I'm gonna find the area of this blue triangle and then I will add it to the area of this pink trapezoid. So let's find the area of the triangle first. 
the formula for area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. So I can see that the height of the triangle right here is eight, and that's forming a right angle with this length right here, which is congruent to this length since that's a parallelogram, so the base of the triangle is 22 yards. That's kind of extra information that we do not need to find the area of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, I'm gonna do eight times 22 divided by two. So the first thing I need to do is eight times 22. Good at 76. And then I need to do 176 divided by two to find the area of the triangle. The triangle is 88 yards squared. Okay, so I found the area of one of the figures. Now I need to find the area of this parallelogram, which I just do base times height for. So the base of the parallelogram is 22. And then the height would be nine, not 10, since nine is the one that forms the right angle with the base. So to find the area of the parallelogram, I'm just gonna do nine times 22. Parallelogram is 198 yards squared. So to find the area of the whole composite figure, I would do 88 plus 198. I get 286 yards squared for the area of that composite figure.